Long time no see. Today, I will introduce a new product made by the factory manager to you. What are you looking at this thing? Is this an open rack? Similar, but in fact, it is not an open rack for people to make open machine guns every day. It is a test made specifically for this client base. This thing first met Fatboy and my UNCE on BW this year. So they said they wanted to make this open-ended, easy to this shelf. The main requirement is fast disassembly and assembly of hardware. There is also a quick change in the line configuration of this test and the vertical pile configuration when it is displayed. Let me give you a brief introduction first. Then later, I will drive to Fasha to find the fat boy and let them feel it too. Then see if there is anything that needs to be changed. Then take out the main board of the test we are going to use today. Of course, I didn't just try this main board. Then this main board will also be introduced to you. This is a Prada's Fork 870. It is also the main board of this Prada Creator series. The main board I actually prefer is the onboard 10 grams network interface card. Then there is the onboard USB for interface of 40 or 40 grams. This greatly enhances the scalability of the main board. If you think about it, the main board with an onboard 10G network interface card is quite expensive. Then this board is actually a high PC and console game board with a 10G network interface card, which is more common. And there is no board that looks very okay. Other interfaces are actually more conventional, but I think this three USB 2.0 is too much. If there are more, can you cut off one? Add one more of this type E. I think type E is more useful now. Not much else to say, mainly uh, use this main board to show some operations and details of the installation of the shelf and how it looks when showing the main board. Then I'll put it down first. Normally, everyone runs hardware tests, mainly in a state of lying down. So first of all, I'm going to put this P3E stand up and move it to where it belongs. Then this position is also positioned by a buckle, so it won't run around easily. I didn't install the screw positioning columns corresponding to the main board. Then I probably packed a few, then aligned the screw holes with these studs first. After that, there is a buckle that can be squeezed by hand. All I need is a pinch. Then the main board is installed. As for the graphics card, it is also directly inserted like this. The graphics card is plugged in and the whole thing is, well, pretty solid. But in fact, it is firmly fixed without that kind of screw. I don't recommend that you shake like me. Then this is its normal test line state. And then there is a cold rack here. So this cold rack has four of these retractable devices on it. Our uh, cold row has a fan. Can be compatible about 50 to, to 65 total thickness. Of course, the width of your cold row has to be a regular width. Then you can plug it in like that. But I'm not satisfied with this. Maybe I'll change another design later. These are some of its regular quick installation requirements. Then there is another need for... Uh... For example, when shooting a video and recording me, you should stand up these hardware and put them next to you. Show a need. Then let me change its form. First, take off the graphics card. The shelves stand up. Then hide an accessory in this position. Then open this accessory the graphics card extension cable from the storage position, slide in from this position, plug in the extension cable. It would now be a stand-up display stand. Open the PCI bracket again at this time. The graphics card is plugged into the socket. Then turn the PCI bracket back. It just fits on this baffle. This completes the morphological transformation and fixation of the stump. Is the morphological transformation of this stump also quite interesting? In fact, at least it's pretty fast. And then introduce the location of the power supply at the back. The back of it looks like this. Then leave the space above empty. In fact, it is mainly for when everyone installs various radiators. There are a lot of buckles that need to be operated from the back. So I didn't put anything on top of this. Then put the power supply underneath. What about the location of this power supply? There's a movable baffle with this guide rail and this screw, it can be achieved. There's a hex wrench to adjust the position of the power slider. Then achieve compatibility with power supplies of different lengths. This screw should not have this sound normally. This is because the screw tooth on the slider in the middle of us is handmade a bit biased. So this prototype is a little uncomfortable. I don't know if the fat boy will be satisfied. 
I'll drive to Fashion later to show them. Before we leave, I'll tell you a little bit more. Here are some of my thoughts on this product category. In fact, the most commonly used test frame is that kind of aluminum alloy plate. Then all the parts on it fit into the one on that board. I forgot that brand. Anyway, many years ago, I also bought one about 10 years ago. What about that one? It does look ingenious, but I would think that that product is, its design is that all the parts can be received on this board. It looks ingenious. Its advantage is that it saves shipping costs. Then the overall processing cost is not so high. But the first time it was used, we spent a lot of time installing it and then even uh, add some accessories. When you want to change the stand-up mode, you also need to twist a lot of screws. This needs to be stored into a board for most professional test users. They don't need it. After they receive this thing, they will not pack it again. Back to the original state. So this thing is a better form to use. I think it should be received like this. You can directly hit the main board, then its overall shape is also a little more stable. Let it feel more like a professional laboratory equipment in this style. If you know first that the factory manager is going to make a hardware test rack, can you imagine me making it like this? Was that unexpected? Okay, then we'll be off to find Fatboy in a while. You made this request when we repeated It's been several months. Then it really does it more slowly, but I've been changing along the way. Ah, slow work and meticulous work, no problem. Well, I never showed you my blueprints, but is there a big gap between what you saw and what you imagined? Well, it's not just a big gap. In fact, it's not even the same thing we were talking about at the time. Then let me introduce it to you first. Okay, these specific functions after the introduction, think again, just like the test rack you used before. Doesn't it really improve a bit? The most important function, quick loading of the main board. The disassembly and assembly of this main board involves a problem with this PCI bracket. First of all, this is the one that everyone uses more, this test bed. The way it's fixed with this PCI is with this long screw. Of course, this is also customized, but do you have any pain points when you usually use this thing? Ah, very easy to loosen. And this screw looks annoying again and again. What about the PCE bracket for my test rack? It is stored here. Let's turn on the axis, open it first. After opening it, you can push this up. Up there is a fixed bit, which directly allows it to be fixed. Yes. It's okay to have a marble. The card position of the marble. Then after this bracket is open, well, then the main board and the corresponding tapered bumps. These are the screw positions of the corresponding main board. Uh, the largest AT fork is also possible. EATS is also possible, right? Right? Right. After a good bit, press the uh, main board down. Of course, if there are some of these in that bezel behind a thicker welt main board, you can also just pinch my buckle. After pinching the buckle, put the main board in, loosen the uh, buckle again, Oh, it has a little shoot, like a shoot and a shoot, right? Yeah. But a shelf like this, although it also makes this kind of convenient installation, this spring buckle feeling, yes. But when it is gently pulled from the front, it... They just dispersed. And we have used this for a long time and it is a little loose. A little loose. Although it is fixed quite tightly, but it's still easy for you to dismantle like traditional shelves. When switching between vertical installation and vertical installation, is there generally some extra accessories to install? What graphics card bracket for extension cord? There will be, for example, a bracket for an extension cord, including yes. So you see words like this. It can only support, it's this silky pattern. It can only support until it is plugged in. If you want to install it vertically, it has a whole bunch of stuff to add here. Okay, okay. To do vertical installation. For this, it needs several screws, but it punches two holes here. What about its stand-up mode? In fact, there is a quick switch. There is one stored behind this. Bracket for extension cord is this location. So clever. Yes. And there's a shoot under her. Push it in. This is installed with a long line. A strap noise in there, right? Yes, marbles. There is a match for marbles. Then at this time, we can install the vertical graphics card. When installing, align and plug the PCI first. Then turn this PCI baffle back. Uh, does that hold? This is actually a small opening here, a small opening strip to fix it. Down. And then, uh, but it's not actually very stable. Then I don't recommend it for everyone to bring the state of this stump, one piece to carry. Be sure to remove it when handling. I will try my best to make it easier to disassemble and assemble these things. Point, no screws, no tools, disassembly and assembly. The stability aspect is really not so good. It may not be appropriate to say 
People really say that when a desktop is used in an open chassis, if it is bought by ordinary people, is there a chance to be fairly stable? If you consider saying ordinary, what do you mean? That I might consider doing a complete redo of the design for this open rack. It's about the open chassis. Like, it's not just that, for example, the fixing method of the power supply at the back, the outgoing position of the power supply here. In fact, it is now designed like this. Let this exit position move so far aside. Didn't do it either. It's just a separate space for some wiring or something. It's all for the convenience of testing. How do you say it's okay? I don't care. This is rust. To say yes. As far as test users are concerned, it doesn't matter. But you want to be beautiful desktop users. If you use it normally, he may feel that this drawing line must be uncomfortable. That must be taken in. That's all going to change, including the fixing of this power supply. There's a slot. There's a movable slider over here. This slider path is here. Ah, here's a screw. It is through this screw that the position of this slider can be adjusted to be compatible with different lengths of electricity. The source, let me guess here, okay. Well, these two are for cold room. Is it equivalent to directly plugging it in like this? Yeah, and there are springs. It is compatible with thick cards of different thicknesses. Right? Thin cards. I really took it casually. This one happened to be doing the Xingqi recently. It should be from the Xingyao series. C360. When I was fighting, I found a little problem. This fan is next to the string on the chute. It interferes a little bit with the mechanism of this slide. This stuff looks disgusting. And it's a disgrace to the design community. It means the product is defective. Why is it still here after more than 10 years? Well, yeah. Why hasn't this RGB been changed after more than 10 years? I hate this too. For a long time, yes. This thing, is it not good for these fans to come out in one line? Of course, there should be such a product on the market now. Yes, there are similar products, but it's not particularly outstanding. At present, there are still relatively few high performance options. Okay, then that. So I built this test stand. I can't say I expect all products to be like this in the future. And then I didn't, so I let it go, right? So go back. Going back to this, I want to think of other ways to solve this cold row fixing problem. Okay. Outside of these locations. There are also some quarter screw holes on both sides of its side. But this tooth is not ready yet. It is convenient for us to fix some small accessories, 3D print, a fan shelf, then pass a what? Oh, clips, for example. Can blow memory. Yes, GoPro clips. Clip a fan or something. For example, uh, the position of this slide rail. If you have a little hands-on ability, you can also say print one in 3D. Take this apart. Then an accessory set here. Do you still consider putting this hard drive in? It fits this style very well. It's a good match. But that's because... Uh, let's say more like an independent. Equipment? What do we have now that we want to test? One is a capture card because of our testing platform. It is impossible for me to record the screen directly on this platform, will affect performance. We usually use capture cards. And the second one is the fan, and then there's some game storage. Many of our games are placed on a mobile hard disk box. Then plug it in like this. Sometimes I don't bother to guess that the above is M2. Yeah, so there's a lot of room for thought in this position. Then this set of shelves should be satisfactory in appearance. Right. I am very satisfied with the appearance. Let's be honest. The appearance is, in our opinion, well, whether it looks good or not is not what I think. Mm. It's okay if the shots he took look good. I mean, something like this, for example. He has no problem with this test. But seriously, the texture of the shot is very average. But this one, needless to say, once you put it here, you get the exact same shot. It's exactly the same simple slide. Which set of texture do you like? It seems that the appearance evaluation is quite high. So what do you think can be improved on this functionality? Opinion? I'm thinking, was it just because we haven't installed water cooling yet? Uh, isn't this main board going to be broken out? If I install water cooling here, this position is actually not easy to break. Okay, then I will solve this together with this water cooled installation method. Then the second one, the second one is about uh, this shelf. One is when it was just installed vertically. I found that it seemed to be only... Oh, only two slots of baffles can be installed. And the two slots are paired. We do have a lot on hand. It's a three slot graphics card. When installing vertically, try to make it compatible with three slots. Baffle, I'm also very torn. Tell me what you are most worried about when moving. For example, after plugging in the graphics card, it doesn't slide when moving. Graphics card, a two or three kilogram thing. My... It's shaking like this. This force should be brought about by its own gravity. No, I shouldn't. Not as strong as my hands because I grabbed all the five or six kilograms below and ran away casually. Well, the product is basically finished but I'm torn by one thing. It's sales. Or to whom? The design of this set is like the little details I talked about at the beginning. 
it is made entirely for professional test users. My expectations for its sales are very pessimistic. And I think you have an idea. Maybe if you can sell 180 sets in China, you will burn high incense. Just fine for their set of products. And here's my best hope. First of all, the first point with this client base. The test client base made this request to get better value. I can help them solve this need. The second one, it does decompress our pain points. It is, for example, next year when I go to Computex Taipei again, there's a row of overclocking gods in the booth of the flag when over... If two or three of them are using my stuff, I will not... Always happy! Indeed, indeed. In fact, what I care more about is, that is to say, the rise of fame in this circle at home and abroad. I do need to repair one or two more editions. Should be about the same. Can be about the same, but it will take some time. What? If you are interested, you may wish to click on the attention of the factory manager or click on my attention. Hello everyone, there will definitely be a full video when he is complete. You can look forward to it. That's about it. Yeah, okay. Thank you, factory manager. Thank you, thank you, thank you.